welcome everyone to this series of programming in python so far we have covered the basic uh, contents in python uh, whether it's syntaxes or whether it's a basic type of data and from this session onwards uh, we are going to look into in depth of uh, individual data types so starting with string we shall be looking into the depth of it and progressively in the future classes we will be moving on to uh, more topics such as for loops while loop decision making classes objects etc but before we could even deal with those higher topics we should know how to handle data a data which could be in a form of integer or float or string or list or anything right so this session covers string type of data in a very depth before we get started let's see what are we going to learn in this particular session first we are going to learn we are going to know again what is string okay this is up going to be our agenda for this series or this sessions in the series thereafter we are going to know how to create a string now when you create a string it could be an empty string or filled right once you have created a string once you have the string stored in your variable then we are going to see how to access the string from the memory because all this data whether it's any type you are storing eventually in a memory right so how do you access it back now whether when you want to access it when you want do you want to access it full or do you want to access it in parts or partially right so this is something that we are going to look next once we have created the data string data once we have uh, accessed the data then we are going to see how to manipulate or i would say uh process the data okay and then we are going to learn some common functions slash methods of string so this happens to be our agenda which we are going to cover uh, in today's session let's get started let's see what a string is so like i said earlier a mathematical kind of data like numbers or integers or floats which can directly be stored in a variable a string is a type of data which is a combination of alphabets it could be a combination of your numbers it could be a combination of alphabets in the numbers and with less as well as uh, special characters for example i can say here a uh, statement equal to cricket world cup is going to be hosted in india and i can write here hash 2023 if you see here this data happens to contain a capital character a small characters alphabet the space numbers hashtag capital and everything so basically a string is a type of data it's a sequence of characters these characters could be small case upper case numbers or special characters when i say special characters i could mean this character this character this 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 any of such characters and even this space it's the inclusive of space also and even the uh characters all the alphabet characters and even the numbers are included right so you can make up your string data using any of such characters in any amount of quantity but one thing is string data is always 
encompassed or enclosed within quotes so if i'm writing statement here you would observe that i am writing a i'm starting the string data with a quote and i'm ending with a quote what this tells python is anything that is lying between these quotes makes up as a string data but one thing to note here is it is not necessary that you need to have the double quote itself you can also have single quote as well something like this or i could also have triple quote like this or i could also have triple double quotes all these are valid so if you want to create a string type of data if you want to uh, pass around the data which happens to be string uh, it's your choice whether you want to go for double quote single quote triple single quote or triple double quotes but one thing you can ask is when python can recognize a string with just single quote why do we need so many different type of quote and the answer is imagine i am creating a data which is something like this data equals to children's if you see this type of data you see a quote itself is a part of data this uh, this quote itself is making up and is part of data it's a syntax of english but here python shall get confused because python expects that your if a string data is starting with a quote single quote it should end with a single quote however upon encountering a single quote somewhere in middle of the data uh it will not be able to recognize whether it's the end of data or or what and in this case it is going to throw up an error if i try to print here data you will see that it is going to throw up an error it says it's the invalid decimal literal so what do we do if you want single quote itself to be part of data in that case we are going to move on to the next type of string literal that we have this markers which mark the data as one of its kind it's the starting and the ending uh, marks like double quotes here we are going to move on to the next available option with us and single quote we will we are going to let it be within the data so that when i print run this you are going to see that this has been uh, considered as a valid string it has been printed and you can see that within the data the code is included right so this is how we are going to this is what a string is a string is a sequence of characters a character which can be the alphabets or numbers special characters or the space or anything yep and moving on to next how to create the string okay i have already told you how to create a string uh, anything that you put uh, within the quotes ends up becoming a string but what if i want to create an empty string okay how to create an empty string in that case i can say you just have to put quotes that's all whether it's double quote or single quote you just have to put the quote like that and that will create a variable which goes by the name data here in this example which i'm doing and an empty string has been created so this creates an empty string however why do you need an empty string perhaps you're creating a variable uh you have just stored an empty uh, string in it maybe later you might want to update it later you might want to store it something in it so you just have initialized as nothing okay if you want to create a filled data uh maybe you want to create a data which is of type which is holding a data of type string but something in it i can just put some push some content in it maybe uh hash 2023 yep now that's a filled string okay 
moving on to how to access the string whether it's in full or in part okay so we are moving on to our third agenda how to access the string so if i'm creating some data something like uh quote maybe i can write some quote integrity is the best virtue okay something i've written now i want to access it if i try to print quote the whole content is rendered in front of me the whole content is fetched uh, from the storage and given to me but why did it do so it's because i am mentioning the whole data right i am mentioning the whole name of a variable and that indicates print whatever is stored in the storage in this storage which goes by the name quote so whatever is stored there the completely it, it shall be completely accessed and given to me but in case i want to partially access there then before i teach you how to partially access let me tell you that since string is a sequence of character please note that this is how our string data looks like isn't it please note that underneath each element underneath each alphabet or character there is a positions when i say position so imagine that if you're trying to read your data in this natural order something in this direction you're trying to move from left to right and you're trying to read then please note that each character has a position i is located at position 0 n is located at position 1 p e is located at position 2 3 so on and so forth up to the end okay so if i want to read my data in partially so this what i just wrote here is an example or an instance of reading data in full but if i want to read some data in part actually then i am going to put the square brackets please mom note it the square bracket very next to the variable name and i am going to write the corresponding position say if i want to access the data that is stored at 0 i am going to access that zeroth position so if i run this you shall see that only i is given to me for this particular print command so the syntax is you write the storage you point to a storage which you're trying to access and the square bracket put next to it conveys that conveys to the python that you're trying to access that storage partially only with respect to a single position in other words index index is a technical term in python which refers to the position if i write two here you shall see that t right so 0 1 2 please know that when you're trying to read the data from left to right it it is starting from 0 not 1 0 1 2 3 0 okay so this being said having uh, said this another thing to note here is in case you're trying to come uh, in case you're trying to come reading the uh, data from right to left that is in the reverse direction something like this if you're trying to read the data in this direction in such a case the positions are termed negative so the starting position shall be minus 1 thereafter minus 2 and so on and so forth up to the end position please note while you were reading from left to right uh, that's the natural order of reading left to right in that case positions were positives the position are positive and they start with zero however when you come from the reverse direction they start with negative the negative sign indicates that direction is reversed 
and it starts with minus 1 goes up to minus 2 minus 3 up to the end okay so here instead of 2 if I give minus 2 you will realize that I am trying I have started reading the negative 7 since negative sign indicates that I am reading the uh, string from the reverse direction that means in this particular direction minus second position shall be accessed for you so this happens to be the minus 1 minus 2 so u shall be given to you let me run it and show here it's u which has been given to you so I hope you have understood that if I am creating a string data here and I am storing that into the variable if I have to access that data back if I have to access the storage and read what is stored in it in that case I will write the variable name that means access what is stored here and it will be printed but if I want to access it partially then I'll write the variable name and I'll put square bracket and put uh, position uh, in between the square brackets that will access the string with respect to only positions okay now to correlate with our day-to-day -day examples how this axis of string means try to correlate it with PISA getting your hands on complete PISA is same as you're accessing the whole variables content fully accessing the string with respect to just one position or one index is as good as getting your hands on on a single slice of PISA but that's not the only way to access the PISA right you might want to access or get your hands on first three slices or the alternate slices or the last two slices from the la uh, from the reverse direction right in the same way when you have the data stored in a variable it is not necessary that you are going to access uh, either the full or with respect to only one position you might want to access your data uh, in the range of first five characters or last 10 characters or among the first 20 characters you might want to access every alternate characters right so such kind of combinations of uh, accessing you might be wanting to do you might be wanting to slice your data into such different combinations we can do that uh, in string as well the syntax for that goes so here I am trying to access the data partially however with respect to positions right the same thing I can do let me take this content here and now let me write it that I want to access not with respect to position but with respect to range okay let's see how do we do that please remember that the square earlier the square bracket which I was um, specifying that would of course that would indicate that I'm trying to access the data partially and within this I shall specify the index number or position number however now in this particular case we are going to write start position end position and stride okay we shall shortly see what it means let me take this particular one and let me take this so here obviously if I'm writing like this the whole storage will be accessed for me but if I'm writing this syntax that means I'm in this particular uh, variable whatever is stored I'm trying to access that partially however I will start accessing that or start reading that from this starting position I can give here as zero I am starting to read it at zero I am going to go up to maybe tenth position and stride b1 okay so if i do this you shall get integrity if i change end as 5 i'm going to get integ so what's happening here is let's see i said starting at 0 so that means i have started accessing my data at 0th position here okay and i'm going to go up to 5th position so I'm starting here I'm going to go up to 0th position 1 2 3 and 4 right up to this position I'm going to go and access completely please note just because I've given end as 5 that doesn't mean that end has to be included 
it is going to be excluded because effectively it is up to i am going to go up to 5 that means this happens to be your fifth position but fifth will not be considered i am going to stop at 4 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 is what i am going to consider fifth is up to position and what does one mean here one means jump so basically in this particular range starting at 0 going up to 5 i am going to consider each element now that is what is called a stride or jumps okay so i n t e g this is what we are going to get in case i make it in case i make stride as 2 you shall see that i t g why did you get i t g it's because when i say stride being 2 in that case of course, I am starting at 0th position, I am going up to 5th position, but since I said that stride is 2 here, that means I will start here and then I am going to go to the 2nd position and from here the further 2nd position. So every alternate is what I am going to consider. So I, T, G, that's what we get here, right? So this is how we actually access the string in partial manner but with respect to range i hope that's clear to everyone right perfect now that concludes our third agenda that is how to access string in full and how to access string in parts having covered that now let's see how to manipulate or process the string data okay so or, or, or in other words I would say uh, operations on the string data now this is more easier to uh, convey okay when I say operations on string data there are only two operations that you can do okay one is say if I am writing here name equals to Aliza and I am trying to print here name plus 5 I'm pretty sure many of you would guess that it's going to print Aliza 5 but no it's going to be an error if I that run here you will see that it says error and it says that it can concatenate only string to string but not integers what that means is just like if I were to do any mathematical or arithmetic operations like plus 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 but such arithmetic operation happens on mathematical kind of data only like integer or float if you have to do plus with string and integer Aliza plus 5 doesn't make sense. However, if you have to concatenate, that means you have to just join uh, these strings end to end. In that case, please note that both the data type has to be same. If this is string, then what I'm adding up has to be string. So in this case, the answer shall be Aliza 5. Got it? So this is what it is. <laughs> I hope that's clear to everyone. The next thing is if I here it was addition however if I do division here it doesn't make sense okay nor would the exponential would make nor would the subtraction would make however if I do multiplication uh, you might be wondering what might happen but it is going to replicate the name that means whatever string is present on the here it is going to be replicated uh, sorry not here it has to be numeric here yeah if it's numeric here that means that many number of times this particular string is going to be replicated something like this aliza 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 yep i hope that's clear with everyone yep. so these things you can do to ease out your efforts on repeating the data the same things could have could have also been stored in some uh in some variable something like this and this variable could have also been accessed 
and been printed at the latest stage something like this tall is same now we have covered uh, largely uh, most of our agenda so far now comes the most important part that is common functions or methods of string now what does that mean well common function and methods help you to manipulate the string or to play around with the data or if you want to uh, make changes to your data or want to process your data there are some ready made methods or functionality to do so now what do you mean by process the data or or, or manipulate with the data it's something like if i have given you the data in all small case i i can write india is a uh, has the largest uh, democracy and i have given the whole string in lower case but you want to convert complete string into upper case how do you do that well, that's like processing the whole data isn't it it's like processing the whole string to do so we have some methods how to use those methods let's see uh let me take the example uh, somewhere from here itself yep right so i have a data here which i'm storing it in a variable which is called quote now let's see how i can modify this data okay let me create another variable called as modified data now so there are certain methods or certain functions which are very specifically associated with string itself so how do you use it you write quote dot say upper yep it's something like on this storage so whatever is being stored in this quote uh, over this upper is being um, applied you know in elements some you can understand that and this is collectively is going to give you back a uh, modified data which you are ending up storing in modified data let's see what does it give us let me print this modified data here you see the whole string is converted into uh, into a upper case right so upper this particular method converts a string into upper case in a similar manner i have many other uh, methods if i say lower let me change your some content here integrity yep so here it's a mix of upper case and lower case but let's see what yep i have corrected this yeah what does this what does this particular function does so this converts the complete string into the lower case you see here it is converted everything into lower case <laughs> on a similar way there is something called as replace replace now what does replace do if i say instead of integrity i write here integrity comma honesty so what's happening here is i am telling python that over this code whatever is being stored in the code replace and i am to this particular functionality or this function i am passing two contents here within parenthesis first is integrity why did i put integrity it's because this integrity or this word i want to replace it with another word that's called as honesty so what to be replaced second is with what to be replaced if i run this you shall see that integrity has been replaced with honesty and this is your new answer right perfect there are almost 45 to 50 such methods which can help you to manipulate the string data but we are going to discuss only the common few okay which is going to help you uh, get started with the string and i will provide the uh, notes or the documentation on the all uh, possible string methods but here goes few more which are commonly used so i'm writing like this and if i say split i know that we haven't learned list in detail but let's say if i am splitting this uh content if i'm splitting this on a basis of space so what is this this is like a 
separator okay this is a function which is going to split your string into parts but on what basis i say space okay so if i run this you shall see that a list is provided to you and in the list each element is uh, a cutout element and how did the elements have been created based on a separator so at the separator uh, it's like a, a a single string has been cut out by a scissors at every occurrence or at every place where the space was occurring it has been cut out and all the individual elements have been stored in a list right so this is how you get now if i try to print only the zero element here you shall get only the first word of that element integrity right if i write minus one here that means in the reverse order the very first element i get what you right so this is how it is perfect let's go forward there is something or less index let's try to understand what index does okay if i am writing here um, i what's happening is what i mean to ask is this particular function is going to assess the code and tell you what is that position where it finds the occurrence of i for the first time here it says 10th right 10 so let's verify it is it really 10 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ninth tenth yes it's indeed it is the, uh, the tenth position instead of just character you can as well give some word like best i can give best here it will search the whole string and will tell you at what position is this word existing look at this it says that it is existing at 17th position right now so index functionality tells you at what position it is existing Let's look at one more, which is called as count. Okay, count tells you. So if I'm writing here best couple of times, say three times, and I search for how many times. Count means it is going to count the number of occurrences of this content which you pass within the parenthesis. It says three. That means analyzing the whole string, it has found that three times the best exists. Right, so you get three here. So, if we quickly uh, revisit what we just saw, there are certain functionalities or method which you can uh, which you can apply over a particular string, and that is going to process your string or manipulate your string content. So, when I say upper, it's going to create it in uppercase. You have uh, the function to convert to lowercase. You can replace some a, a sub string, a part of a string, by some another content. You can split it towards a list based on some specific separator using index you can get uh, at what position is it starting uh, the substring that you have passed and count tells you how many occurrences it has found now not just these you have many you have dot title you have dot capitalize you have dot uh, trip you have dot l strip there are a lot many almost 45 like i said 45 to 50 uh, methods are there uh, to manipulate your string however these happens to be quite common uh, apart from this you also have certain methods like uh, let me write here another one i can write statement equals to maybe let me change the data now uh, india has the largest democracy okay this is a another statement now i want to check whether is it uppercase in that case i am going to there is a method called as is upper okay now see this is like a uh, this particular function assesses this particular data and the result is always going to be either true or false so since I am going to check here whether it's uh, true or false, so here let's see what does it give here. G give it to us. It says false. Obviously it's false. But if we change here, India is 
largest democracy you shall see that it suddenly says true right even if i make one letter as false it is going to give me false because is upper checks for it to be completely upper case okay it has to be starting to end everything has to be upper case for it to be true something like this we have another thing called as is digit now this uh why do we have like is digits for example if i give you 810 uh 0 something like this some random numbers if i give i'm pretty sure that all of you would have at some point or the other time would have been tried to give your mobile number and it would have said that invalid characters enter right so how does the software know that you are not providing numbers and you are providing something else because every program has a functionality like this to check whether the incoming content is it a digit is it a mathematical digit so statement dot is digit tell checks the whole content and tells if there is anything other than the numbers present so here it's going to say true it is a digit but if i say even if i put one extra space here it's going to tell me false even i put some extra the uh, alphabets like a it's going to say false i put a special character here it's going to say false it has to be completely a to z numbers right this is how it is so just like we have is upper uh, there is something called is digit there is something called is lower is numeric uh, so you have a lot of such uh, methods and functions which are readily available uh, uh, for you at your disposal to modify the content assess the content or play around with the string data and manipulate it right so that uh, concludes our string in depth so a string is nothing but it's a it's a type of data it's it's a data type in which your data can exist which you can store in a variable uh, any string data has to be compulsorily defined within quotes the quote can be a single quote or double quote as as per you and there are uh, there are ways to access the string just to summarize uh, you can access it fully you can access with respect to just the positions and you can also access with respect to uh, the range the start position the end and the straight yep straight here and then you have certain methods like upper lower replace split index all these ready made methods you have to manipulate the data or uh, process the string data right uh, i would be providing the notes uh, for your better understanding and you can look at it and attempt the assignments for uh, hands on and deep uh, absorption of the concept of string yeah. thank you everyone